Bishop Cannell, um, with your church, Christ's Covenant Church, your belief is to get free and stay free. How does that relate to someone who's suffering from clinical depression? What would that mean to them? Well, for someone who's struggling with cl uh, clinical depression, one of the first things they deal with is shame. Mm -hmm. yes. And they're so ashamed of the kinds of issues that they're having. Many times they'll not even discuss it with anyone. Right. And therefore, uh, our first objective is to help them get past sh the shame issues. Mm -hmm. They have to get free of that. Right. And we have to ask for help. Exactly. And, and of course, God will help us. Right. And God has raised up people and sends people to us to help us all the time. And isn't, isn't it okay and it's great that we have the opportunity to ask for help? Yes. It's just oftentimes I think fear steps in and embarrassment as you said yes. and we feel that we have to deal with everything by ourselves. Yes. Now Jay Novacek has the awesome uh, organization the Nova Center and that's why we're all here today yes. for the Cowboy Scramble. Um, Jose Feliciano is one of the sponsors for this great organization and obviously he is just a huge supporter. He believes in reaching out and helping the masses. What is it about Jose Feliciano and his foundation that inspires you as an individual to see that if someone at the level as Jose Feliciano, who's hugely successful, that can still take the time out of his day to give back? What impact does that make on you as a bishop because that's what the church is about? Right. The biggest impact that makes on me is to realize that people are, as we are made in the image of God, mm -hmm. And we teach that the image of God and the likeness of God is the image of God is we're born with the ability to choose freely. Right. And we are also very unique. Every one of us are special and unique. And that means that there's not any two of us just, just alike. Exactly. Never will be. It, and it's awesome that we're unique. That's, that's right. It really and is. And so when I think about Jose Feliciano, I think about those two qualities. But we're also born in the likeness of God. Right. And the likeness of God is, is love. The Bible says God is love. And so when I see people like Jose Feliciano and many other people who are out here working and helping and contributing toward this, I see the love of God at work trying to reach and help people who are struggling and hurting. Isn't that awesome? Yes. And I think it's so important that in everything that we do that we see God because He is in everything. Yes. And if we can know that and live that, it allows us to find empowerment through His words. Yes. Uh, what encouragement would you give to someone sitting at home right now that's battling clinical depression, really doesn't think that there's a way out, and they feel alone, afraid, and embarrassed? What would you say to that person? Well, the first thing I would say to them is you need to know that God loves you and God is reaching out to you today to help you in every way he possibly can. The second thing I would say to you is that if you would just simply take one simple step and reach out for help, 80% of all people who reach out for help do much better. And they find immediately that they get the support of their family, the support of their friends, the support of their community, their churches. And then the third thing I would say is you need to know that you're not alone. From 19 to 17.5 million people struggle with, with depression. And of that amount, 9 million are battling with clinical depression. So please, just reach out for help and know that God has already made provisions for all of the help that you need. Very nicely put. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And we definitely appreciate you encouraging our viewers to live a bigger, better life and that hope is right in their heart. And thank you for doing the same. You are so welcome. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh.